Addictions are major issues in many people's lives today, but it's not just addictions that can cause per people struggles. Past issues, bad habits, there are, there are many things that can keep from experiencing true freedom in Christ. But there's a national program that's been helping many people right here in Lima, and there's good news, it's expanding. Nancy Moeller talks with Sandy Mumford and Kelly Beast about Celebrate Recovery. Well, it is always a joy to talk to these two ladies, Sandy Monfort and Kelly Bees, and um, both are with Celebrate Recovery. And you have um, some really important news to share with us. Um, you know, we know the importance of your support groups and um, the ministry that you have carried out through our community, but um, it's growing, isn't it? It is. It is, and we're pleased to see that. Yeah, definitely. So, Kelly. Um, you know, when you've been here in the past, you've talked about different areas needing um, support or um, maybe forming brand new groups of people, but um, you're pretty well saturated now, aren't you? Right, absolutely. We have actually, just in Lima, we have four sites that are running, okay. and we have an additional one in Delphis, so there are five in Allen County. We have 12 within the region, a new one just opened up in Botkins within the last month. And we have another one locally that's just starting to talk about opening. And um, so there's, it's just continuing to grow. It's so exciting to see. It's really important. I think probably what we should do, because I assume sometimes everyone knows what you do, but um, there are, are new viewers out there who may not understand what Celebrate Recovery does. So, sure. um, Sandy? Ce Celebrate Recovery is a Christ-centered, 12-step recovery program for any hurt, any habit, or any hang-up, which means that's for all of us. Yeah. There's so many individuals that believe support groups are exclusive to drugs and alcohol. Certainly, they do assist with individuals struggling with that. And there are family members that struggle with family members and friends that have that struggle. Others struggle with depression, low self-esteem, post-traumatic stress, we have veterans that have been involved in Celebrate Recovery because all of those are hurts, habits, and hang-ups. So those support groups also infuse the awareness of the higher power, and higher power is Jesus Christ. Celebrate Recovery is a Christ-centered 12-step recovery program with also eight recovery principles that are tied to the Beatitudes. So we don't force anyone to believe in God. We don't force anyone to believe in Jesus Christ. We want others to know what we are. And so when they come in, each and every person is welcomed by us and involved. Well, you know, you bring up a good point. Have you had um, folks join you who maybe have never been exposed to the word and knows who would know the power of Jesus? I mean. A, a, that would be so amazing to see that transformation. Absolutely. I mean, what, the one that comes to mind that was probably the most powerful for me to witness was an individual that it took several weeks for him to even come into the church. He honestly, to the point where he was afraid that if he walked into the church, something would happen. Um, he, he just had a terrible fear of even walking in. So when he got to the point of walking in and then week by week he would he would stay a little longer and then he started volunteering to come up and, and read the 12 steps or read the principles and then he, by you know several months into it he was helping to run the men's small group and then he was going to a Bible study outside of Celebrate Recovery so just to watch that transformation in individuals and that's not at all uncommon to yeah. see that. That is so neat. I would think now, um, you know, we've heard so much about the heroin mm -hmm. epidemic and the methamphetamine and, and so forth. Um, are you noticing that there is a greater need now, um, maybe more so than, than what we've seen before? I, I think that there's always been a need. It's even more open now because of individuals that have become addicted to prescription meds okay. and may have also moved into now the use of heroin because continuing to purchase prescription meds can be expensive. Mm -hmm. It certainly made it much more open and available for individuals to come to support groups. Sometimes individuals don't want to go to the traditional support groups of AA and NA. They're both wonderful systems. Celebrate Recovery is another option. We're never going to say we're better than any other because we are what we are. And we're a support system knowing that God 
can touch each and everyone's life. When a person comes in the door, as we've heard many times, they just enjoy even being welcomed, never judged. They choose what they want to share if, if they choose to, when the time is appropriate. And they're all just one group of individuals. We've heard many, many times how they enjoy that ability to hear about faith, to talk about faith, and not be judged. And we take pride in that because that's what John Baker, the founder of Celebrate Recovery, wanted. He wanted a safe place and for each and every door to be open for anyone that wants to come. It's our job to reach out and give that opportunity. Now we think it's important too that you maintain um, obviously the confidentiality but also stability mm -hmm. for these um, people because if you're there one week and gone the next, what support really did did they get from you? Is that true? Right, and honestly, since we started our site in November of 2009, every Wednesday since then, we have never missed a night. We have no. we've been there every Wednesday night since. The only time we will not be there is if it's a level three yeah. emergency and we're right. not allowed on right. the roads. We don't want anybody to get arrested for coming to our meeting. But yes. um, other than that, the door is always open. So how do they find you and, and how, you know, if someone's out there watching and they're not sure whether there's a group available close to them, how would they find that out? One of the easy ways to do that is, is go, we have a Facebook page, it's a Celebrate Recovery Lima or Lima okay. Celebrate Recovery and they in fact will be able to get current information there. We also have a website that I think is on our brochure. We give a listing not only at our Wednesday night meeting of every Celebrate Recovery we are aware of that's being offered, that's following what the structure was that John Baker chose. And there's a contact person for each one of those sites. If they have any difficulty, like the woman that moved in town and needed a ride last Wednesday, they can call my number or they can call Kelly's number and we'll direct them and assist them with any of those sites. Okay, wonderful. We are out of time. Sandy and Kelly, thank you very much for being with us again and keep up the good work. Thank you thank so you. much. All right.